the longer I was there, like the, the more the my my chest from holding on, my legs from kicking, with all my full fishing gear on, was uh pretty painful. Three fishermen rescued from icy water after their boat suddenly sank off Situate. And tonight, one of the men pulled from the water is telling his story of survival. WBZ's Brandon Truitt shows us what happened. I've worked on one of these boats. From his hospital bed in Weymouth, Joe Roderick, reliving the tale of Tuesday's sinking ship. To be fine one minute and three minutes later being in the water trying to swim to save your own life. It was like traumatic. Roderick was one of three fishermen on this boat, the Bing Bing, when it suddenly started tipping to one side and didn't stop. The whole boat flipped over. We got you know, thrown in the water. And I remember, I remember sw sw swimming away from the boat because I didn't want to get pulled down in the suction. It threw the men into the frigid water where they managed to hang on to floating hoses for roughly 45 minutes. The longer I was there, like the the more the, my, my chest from holding on, my legs from kicking with all my full fishing gear on was uh, pretty painful. The 55-foot vessel left from here at Gloucester Harbor early Tuesday morning. The owner of the boat tells me that it was fully renovated in 2018 and in mint condition. I don't know if I said this before, but there were basically two miracles in this uh, event that saved the lives of these men. Monty Rome owns the vessel. He says the floating hose the men were holding onto tend to sink, but he credits the woman police say saw the chaos Tuesday and called for help. If it wasn't for this woman, I, I probably wouldn't be here. Roderick has bruises and hypothermia, but doctors are monitoring him for the amount of salt water and diesel he ingested. In all, he will be okay and will go home with a fishing story he never wanted thanks to a hero who stepped in to help. Thank you. I'm here because of you. In Gloucester, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.